We're going to revisit a story we've covered here on Breakfast about two beluga whales. They were rescued from an aquarium in China. So the names, Little Grey and Little White, uh, were taken to Iceland to live in a more natural environment. They needed a bit of help to feel safe. They have exactly that now, in the shape of a 50 metre wide, 17 tonne floating ring. And it offers kind of an in-between stage between captivity and full freedom. Now, Audrey Paget can tell us a little more. She is from the Sea Life Trust Beluga Whale Sanctuary in Iceland. Hello, morning to you. And who do we see behind you? Good morning. Uh, so behind me, you can see little white and little gray. Uh, it's a bit early for them. They might come over to see what's going on, but uh, they're both here swimming around in their landside care pool. OK, so um, Audrey, take us kind of through the story of Little Grey and Little White's kind of journey to where you are now and to this big floating ring. Sure. Little White and Little Grey came here to Iceland in uh, June of 2019 from China and spent some time here in this same pool uh, going through quarantine and getting adjusted before they were moved out to their sea sanctuary, which is 32,000 square meters, this beautiful natural bay facility here in Vestmanair, Iceland. They spent four months uh, out in the sanctuary in 2020, and then we brought them back inside the facility for the winter that year. And we're going to do some construction work in the Bay to make some adjustments for them. And then a global pandemic and a lot of supply chain issues caused some delays with that construction. So they've stayed here in the landside facility. And now this intermediate habitat has arrived and we're going to finish the construction and get them back out into their sea sanctuary. Um, Audrey, tell us a little bit more about the whales. And, and I mean, people will be looking at the, the, the pool behind you. And I know welfare of the whales mm -hmm. is what you're all about. But necessarily, yeah. people will be thinking, you know, they're huge creatures and we can, oh, it's amazing, we can see one right behind you there, just looking out of the water. Yeah. Um, they'll be thinking they're huge creatures, they're in a relatively small pool. Tell us about what the prospects are for them in the future now. Uh, the prospects are that they're going to go back out into the sea sanctuary. And the, and the pool here is designed to have the same incoming seawater that we see out in the bay. It has windows for natural sunlight for them. And then we have a dedicated team uh, here that are making sure that they're healthy, they're happy, they have good enrichment uh, to make sure that they're engaged and ready to go back out to that sea sanctuary. So as soon as those construction works are finished, uh, they're going to move back out into that outdoor facility. And with the new intermediate habitat, we have another step for them because they've spent the majority of their life in an indoor facility which is a really controlled environment. No, no wind, no rain, no changing tides. So this intermediate habitat gives them an opportunity to experience some of those natural elements in a more controlled space. Audrey, tell us a bit more about the whales themselves, because as you're talking, uh, they are yeah. appearing behind you. Do they, do, do they sort of, do you have a sort of relationship with them? Do they respond to people being near them? They do. So they've spent a lot of their life, uh, the majority of their life in human care. And they know I'm standing here and I'm talking to you and not paying attention to them. So they want my attention. Um, but that relationship that they have with people has really helped us over the last two years. Audrey, if you, if you do want to turn them. around, Audrey, if you want to turn around and talk to the whales, we'll just watch in if, <laughs> if you'd like to do that. <laughs> I mean, I can do that. That's fine. So you can see a uh, little white here resting this morning. So she's now resting here and then little gray swimming. So now that maybe I'm here, they might come over and say hello. But, um, but that relationship they have with people is really important and has helped us to support them and getting used to moving to that outdoor facility. So, um, you know, it, it's a bit like if you or I moved to a new city, there's a lot of new sights and sounds. And so having someone there who's familiar to support you is really important. And you can see now Gray is going to bring us over maybe one of her enrichment devices, which kind of mimics the feel of kelp for her um, so that she's used to kind of what those seaweeds are like out in the bay. But now that I'm giving her, oh, there you go. Hi, Gray. Oh. Yeah. Now she's being camera shy. <laughs> oh, no, that's absolutely fine. It's, it's amazing to watch them. But I suppose, you know, Audrey, I mean, 
as is, as has been established, their safety and you know their <laughs> enrichment is obviously your priority. But is yep. I, I don't know what it, what did it? How did you recognise that they perhaps weren't comfortable? That they were not coping when they were faced with, as you said, tides, winds, you know, currents that they hadn't experienced in the aquarium. How did they? How did that behaviour? or that distress kind of emanates? And how do you think there will be a time that they actually will get out in complete freedom? So we, our, our care team is out there with them and works with them here a, a, a lot of the day. So they not only feed them and do medical checks, but they do observations to see how are they resting? Where are they spending their time? What are they doing um, in their habitat? And so, that there's a lot of record of what are their normal behaviors. And so we could see that little white, who's now joined me in particular, had some hesitation of exploring that bigger Bay Sanctuary space and needed a bit of additional support from the care team. So the new intermediate habitat gives us a place where she can see the seafloor and experience the tides, but our team can also have access to help make that a really positive step for her rather than her going from the smaller space out into the big open bay and maybe feeling a little overwhelmed. Audrey, was it my imagination or was one of them deliberately trying to squirt you a moment ago? It, that's what it looked like. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she wants my attention now. <laughs> Oh, look, it's been lovely. It's been lovely watching them with you, and we'll we'll watch on with interest as as you progress. I'm sure we'll speak again. Thank you very much for your okay. time this morning. Take care. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So Audrey's fantastic, just because of the work she's doing, the camera work, everything. But little grey and little white stars of this morning's program. Just trying they? to photobomb the absolutely the, that moment in time. And it's just like enough now. Enough talking. It's yeah. all about me now. Fabulous. Good luck to them.